Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a really interesting software. This is the Win X HD Video Converter Deluxe. Now for those of you that follow the topic on the Akintosh videos since 2016 or 17, not really sure, we have started using Mac X HD video converter to see if the Hackintosh was with the encoding supported or not. So this is one of the functions that we can use to see if the hardware is supported. For example, I'm using a MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro and it is supported. It also supports AMD and Nvidia GPUs. And if you don't have any GPU, it will do its best to extract from the hardware that it has to encode and decode videos. Now, something that it's great as well is if you're looking for a budget key for your Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition, don't forget to check out KeysFan where we can find budget and official OM keys and with the coupon code you can get a Windows 10 Pro at 7 US dollars more or less or a Windows 11 at 13 US dollars. So there will be a link down below just in case you want to check that out. Now, the WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe is available, as I said, for macOS, for Windows. And in terms of conversion, we will see a few things, but in terms of compression, it does compress up to 90% without losing quality. And I will share more details with you because, as you know, I do a lot of and I've been doing it for the past few days but it is awesome that we can transform for example a file of 4.3 gigabytes into 250 megabytes and honestly I cannot see the difference I did look on my 4k display to see if I was able to see any kind of difference and then show you hey have in mind that it will compress a lot but do you see this difference here but the truth is that I did not notice. So this might be great for those that have a limited internet connection. For example, in my particular case, I do have a great internet connection, so I can afford to make daily uploads of four gigs, 10 gigs file without any issues. But in some places, and if that's your case, then this might be a good investment because instead of uploading four gigabytes or 10 gigabytes, you will be uploading 200 or 300 megabytes, which will be a lot faster on slower connections. Another great use scenario is if you have your multimedia file stored on your network attached storage solutions, and I'm looking at mine at this moment, and you want to save storage, the movies are huge. We have movies of 10 gigabytes and things like that. So this might be considered an investment to save on the storage side, and that might be a great option. Now, it has several functions, one of which is to convert a format to another format. This is the most easy part. We just need to open up the menu, and once we open, we will have a lot of options, but it's straightforward. It will show us the most common used formats. So, for example, I can use to convert to MP4 or MOV, which are those that I use most. We can also select based on the device that we will play the file. So we will find right over there Apple devices, Android, Microsoft devices, those that are more used generally. But we can also select by social network like YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook or like I prefer. We can go by profile and we will have PC, Mac, TV, so we just need to choose and this is great because we have a lot of choices and I was evaluating the formats that we have even older formats that were used on DVDs and things like that we will also find so if you're looking for something to convert to new formats but also compatible with older formats WinX HD will do it now the thing that impressed me more was not the conversion from one format to the other because we have seen a lot of softwares that it's capable of doing that but the compression is awesome i didn't do the math uh, they mentioned on the website 90 percent compression and for example the first one that i did test out was a MOV to MKV file. By the way, it supports up to 8K, but I do record as I'm doing right now 4K, so those are the files that I did test out. As I was saying, I did first uh, transfer from or convert from MOV to MKV at 2.6 gigabytes and it did went up to 200 megabytes. So this is just a great conversion. When I looked at the numbers, I said, okay where is all the data of the video so i opened up side by side to see if i could see any difference and honestly i can't 
if there is any difference it's not visually and I do believe that has to be a difference but I don't see it with my eyes even if I'm using glasses but I don't see it with my eyes I open up on the 4k display the full image and then open one open the other one side by side and trying to see and nothing so that is the most impressive thing that I see on this software. Now we have also other options. We can select the video codec. We can also select the frame rate, the resolution we can maintain, or we can lower the resolution. We can change it. And we also can change the bitrate, the quality, and we have audio options. Now there are some options like the bitrate that only unlock depending on the profile that we choose. Now this first test was not enough for me because I wanted also to see if a MOV file, which is what I'm doing right now, can be converted to an MP4, which is what I do upload to YouTube, for example, without losing quality and also maintaining the same ratio in terms of size. And yes, I went up to the 2.6 gigabyte file, MOV to MP4, 200 megabytes. This gave me the insurance that regardless of the format that I was using, before was MKV and after was MP4, the size will be the same. So the algorithm that the software uses will take that file and regardless of the file that I or the format that I select, it will do its best to compress it. I also tested a bigger file which is the 4.3 gigabytes. It was a MOV file. I did convert it to MP4 and the final result was 250 megabytes. So this one is even crazier and I did mention on the initial part of the video 4.3 gigabytes and we remove 4 0.05 gigabytes and we are left with 250 megabytes this is just insane once again i did put it side by side and no difference at least visually to me i did one last test to record for you and that was mov to mov because i wanted to see okay so if i keep the uh, same format will it compress as good and yes 4.3 gigabytes 250 megabytes total on the compressed file so that was great now one other thing that we can do if you have lots of files and if you are wondering if you can put your multimedia into compression and have a lot less space on your storage you can you can leave overnight if you have a lot of multimedia you can just put them on a row and once you come on the next day you will have everything ready or if you have several videos to upload on a daily basis then we can just spend a few minutes compressing and then uploading in a few minutes as well and that is also a option for editing videos which i would say okay it's great if you are on a rush to do a few edits here and there from your i don't know your drone or your action camera then we can they are very basic we will have the volume we can insert subtitles it also has the size of the video we can cut into a cinematic look if we want to and if we want to trim the video we can also do now one also great thing is we can merge the video so if you have a lot of episodes from a series and you want to put it on one single file with chapters for example you can do that and that is a great option now will i start editing my videos on the winx hd video converter deluxe probably not i will keep on using final cut pro 10 because it has a lot more tools but if i just use video for a hobby where i go with my action camera and then insert it right over here i want to cut this piece then probably winx uh, hd it's easier than other video editing software that we use like final cut and adobe and something like that now it also has a slideshow that we can create from pictures it is a basic slideshow but it will be great if we want to do a small presentation with soundtrack on the back it's just a matter of putting the photos selecting the track and that is it basically this is it regarding the winx hd video converter deluxe it is a great tool especially to compress so that we can save space and in conclusion what i can say is that if you are in a situation that you have a slow internet and you are constantly doing uploads of video files then this is a great investment i will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out i would probably select the lifetime option although you have a annual mode but the lifetime is probably the one that captures more of my attention the other situation is if you have storage space for your multimedia and you have a lot then this might be a great uh, in solution in terms of the investment so that we can save on storage so that's 
another idea. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really, really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.